have a state awards to his credit. A name synonymous with innovation and excellence, he's also known as the director who brought international film technicians into Indian movies. It's no surprise that his films have gone on to become some of the highest grossing Tamil films of all time, including, of course, his magnum opus, Indira the Robo, a milestone achievement in his fabulous journey. So, ladies and gentlemen, please, a round of applause for Director Shankar.
Otherwise, I would love to tell you guys the whole story. <laughs> it is still here. It is still my tongue. I just they would cut my revelation if I say much. <laughs> so I'd rather keep my mouth shut. So, but we don't want to get you into trouble. So, thank you so much for saying what you're allowed to say. Uh, next, I'm going to move on to Amy. So, Amy, I mean, uh, you're used to watching Hollywood films. You know, you grew up with that sort of type of movie. So, tell us a bit about what was this experience like working on this film? Well, good morning, everybody. And the experience was unbelievable. And I think we have our director to, to thank for the fact that he's brought a Hollywood crew to India and shot with the creme de la creme of the Indian film industry. Um, superstars and Rajiv Sir and, and Akshay and obviously our maestro here. So, so thank you sir for bringing everybody together and, and obviously our great producer Laika and uh, I think that's that's one of the main reasons it, it is on the Hollywood standard because the crew is from all over the world and, and they're the best of the best. We have Ray who's a pioneer in 3D and the film has been shot in 3D itself, which makes it very different. So I think it's a real treat for the audience. Super, thank you so much, Amy. I'm guessing you also can't tell us too much, so yeah. we'll allow you. So Amy, you bring me to my next question. We definitely want to talk to producer Subhash sir. So I'm just letting the media know that uh, on behalf of the media, I will put forth questions to Subhash sir and of course to Rajini sir. So Subhash sir, we know that you are a big supporter of the arts. This is something that is widely known. So what is it that made you go for this specific project? Movies. I should be thankful to producer Subhash Karan and director Shankar sir to cost me in this prestige, India's prestigious uh, highest purchase picture. To be honest, I'm just telling, I'm being bold enough and telling you this. I've never come across anybody doing a role like this. I am so thankful to my producer, to my director, and producer, and once up to give me a role to even think that I could perform in this role. And uh, that, that's all I want. This is Manjusha Radhakrishnan from the Film Standard. This question is addressed to the actors primarily, Rajinikanth and Akshay Kumar. What is the experience of working in a 3D as opposed to a, another one? Is it a lot more physically taxing or I think uh, well, the 3D question, I would, uh, if your permission is there, I would tell the Shankar sir to speak yeah, sure. about it because he will be much be able to tell us more about uh, the uh, Yeah. Yeah. Uh, 3D makes the movie watching experience most exciting one because uh, um, you can uh, you feel that you are there where the story is happening and you can see your star so close to you and uh, this film demands that 3D technology once you see the movie you will enjoy and you will realize you know, like uh, the importance of 3D Manakam Shankar sir, so my question is to you. Sir, uh, making learning is only thing. So 3D, so either Kapoor or Narayan producers of the 3D movies Narayan make for them certain. So do you think 2.0 will give, uh, will be a platform for the upcoming 3D movies or 2.0 of the 
இதுக்கு பின்னாடி வரப்போற த்ரீ டி மூவிஸோட ஃபியூச்சர் ஃபியூச்சர் சேஞ்ச் பண்ண That's what makes it different and special. 